EVs are not moving. Dealers are overflowing with thousands of cars that are just lying around waiting to be sold. Finding an EV isn't the headache, but owning one is. But why is this even happening? Are EVs not the talk of the town anymore? Who is creating all these problems? And most importantly, why the discrepancy? High prices, high prices, high prices. Tesla's aggressive pricing tactics and ongoing reliability issues are just a few of the culprits. Oh, and let's not forget the government's major involvement in all of this. So, while the dealerships revel in their packed lots, one must spare a thought for those poor, neglected electric vehicles that are just waiting to be sold like puppies in a shelter. Tesla is the one to be blamed, and you shall be the first ones to know why and not to mention how government policies are shaping the fate of electric vehicles on dealership lots. Let's uncover the top gear shifts behind the slowdown. In the world of electric vehicles, high prices have become a major speed bump on the road to widespread adoption. But how did we get here? And what does it mean for the future of electric vehicles? It seems that both the manufacturers and the government have underestimated the growth of the electrical vehicles segment. While the last few years have seen impressive progress, the last two quarters have told a different story. For the first time in a while, we're seeing a significant slowdown in electrical vehicle growth. Why? Well, it turns out that our early adopters have already jumped on the electrical vehicle bandwagon. As for the average consumer, there are a few deal breakers when it comes to purchasing EVs with price being the biggest one. Let's break it down. The average car purchase falls between $45,000 and $55,000, but the average electrical vehicle purchase is much higher, ranging between $55,000 and $60,000. Despite electrical vehicles becoming more affordable compared to a few years ago, the gap is still too big for most buyers. Why are electrical vehicles so pricey? Well, it's not just the sticker price. There are other costs to consider, like higher insurance costs and potential repair costs. And let's not forget about the issue of resale value. Electric cars tend to depreciate much faster than their gas-powered counterparts, losing half of their value over five years on average. So what does this mean for the future of electrical vehicles? It means that the high prices, along with other factors, are slowing down the growth of the electrical vehicle market. But fear not, electrical vehicle enthusiasts. As technology improves and economies of scale kick in, we can expect prices to come down and electrical vehicles to become more accessible to the average consumer. The ongoing slowdown in the electric vehicle market is causing waves for all players, including the industry leader, Tesla. To meet sales targets, Tesla has drastically reduced prices making the transition to EVs more challenging for traditional car makers. Over the past year, Tesla's prices have dropped by 13% to 21%, with models like the Model S now selling for $75,000, down from $105,000 in early 2023. This price-cutting strategy has prompted other companies to join the fray despite incurring losses. Ford, for example, loses about $40,000 on each F1 150 Lightning, even after discounts. However, many car makers have opted out, revising sales targets and slowing production, leaving dealers with excess inventory. As a result, EVs like the Nissan Leaf sit on the market for over 90 days, while the Mercedes-Benz EQE and EQS linger for about 65 days. The Hyundai Kona takes around 61 days to sell. To put things into perspective, it takes no more than 10 days to sell a new Toyota Grand Highlander. For many, the idea of owning an electric vehicle is still a leap into the unknown. Beyond the novelty of the technology, there's a lurking fear of reliability issues. Recent reports have only fueled these concerns, painting a grim picture of EVs as anything but dependable. According to a Consumer Reports survey, Electrical vehicles tend to cause 80% more problems than internal combustion cars. These issues aren't just minor inconveniences. They often read like horror stories. Take the Chevy Blazer electrical vehicle, for instance. 
General Motors had to halt its sales due to numerous complaints, especially regarding faulty software that plagued the vehicle. Battery woes are another common theme, with reports of charging failures and other glitches. Many electrical vehicles also face criticism for their reliance on touchscreens and high-tech features, which can lead to more potential points of failure. So, before diving into the world of EVs, it might be wise to do some thorough research. While the allure of eco-friendly driving is strong, the reality of reliability concerns could make you think twice about certain EV models. The reasons why electric vehicles tend to hang around on dealer lots longer than their gas-powered counterparts are as diverse as the cars themselves. While some folks are still hesitant to make the switch to electric from old-school gas cars, others worry about the reliability and user experience of electrical vehicles. But there's more to it than just consumer psychology. One major factor is the longer sales process for them. According to a former salesman turned EV trainer, buyers typically make four visits to a dealership before committing to an EV, compared to just one visit for a gas car. This extended decision-making process reflects buyers' desire to fully understand the new technology and ensure they are making the right choice. This longer sales process not only affects the salesman's earnings, taking a 75% pay cut due to this longer sales cycle, but also contributes to the longer time EVs spend at dealerships. Salesmen need to invest more time and effort in selling them, as buyers require more information and reassurance before making a purchase. As a result, they sit on dealer lots for extended periods, waiting for the right buyer to come along and drive them off the lot. The Biden administration's push for electric vehicles is also causing a jam at dealer lots. The government aimed to electrify 67% of new vehicles by 2032, spurred on by impressive market growth. However, the era of rapid growth has cooled and EVs now make up less than 8% of the new car market in the U.S. Car manufacturers, eager to meet the government's targets, ramped up electric vehicle production. Now, they find themselves with an oversupply as demand fails to match projections. This oversupply has left EVs stranded at dealer lots, waiting for buyers. To adapt to this changing landscape, the administration is revising its plan. The new goal is to have 50% of the market share taken by electrified cars by 2032, with a slight easing of emissions rules. This shift reflects the need to balance ambition with market realities, ensuring that the transition to EVs is both successful and sustainable. This adjustment comes at a crucial time, as the automotive industry navigates a delicate dance between meeting ambitious environmental targets and ensuring economic viability. Manufacturers are now faced with the challenge of aligning production levels with actual demand, avoiding the pitfalls of overproduction and oversupply that can lead to financial strain. The revised plan also underscores the importance of government policy in shaping the future of the automotive industry. By providing clear targets and incentives, policymakers can steer the market towards a more sustainable and environmentally friendly future while also ensuring the continued growth and success of the EV market. EVs have sparked the curiosity of early adopters, but for the everyday driver, they're not quite ready for the spotlight. While EV owners bask in the glow of new tech ownership, the reality for many is a different story, one filled with compromises and complexities that keep them tethered to traditional gas guzzlers. The hesitation to embrace electric vehicles stems from several issues. Firstly, EV technology hasn't yet matched the convenience of internal combustion engines. Long charging times and limited range make owning an electric vehicle more of a puzzle than a pleasure. Apart from superior acceleration, electric vehicles struggle to outshine their gas-powered counterparts. Adding to the hesitation are the costs. Charging at public stations can drain your wallet, and expenses like insurance and repairs are often higher for electric vehicles. On top of all this, electric vehicles are still searching for a battery that can handle tough conditions like cold weather or heavy hauling. In the quest for the perfect ride, EVs are still playing catch-up. Until they can address these concerns, they might remain more of a curiosity 
than a staple in the automotive world. EVs have parked themselves in the middle of a big question mark for consumers. It's like being at a tech crossroads with EVs flashing their eco-friendly features but also flashing a hefty price tag. The dilemma, will these cutting-edge wheels be outdated before you can say electric slide? Buyers are hitting the brakes, unsure if they should dive into the electric vehicle pool or stick with the tried-and-true gas guzzlers. With EV technology evolving at warp speed, it's like buying the latest smartphone. Will it still be cool in a year? And let's not forget the sustainability debate. Are electric vehicles truly the green machines they claim to be? Or will there be a newer, greener kid on the block soon? This uncertainty is leaving dealerships with lots full of sleek electric vehicles, waiting for someone to take them for a spin. As the electric vehicle's world charges forward, consumers are left pondering if they should plug in or pump gas. The Biden administration's ambitious goals for electric vehicle adoption have injected new life into the market, but they have also created issues such as oversupply and consumer uncertainty. Although EVs represent a compelling vision of a sustainable future, potential buyers are concerned about practical issues such as high prices, ownership complexities, and technological obsolescence. The current slowdown in electric vehicle growth highlights an important turning point in the automotive industry's evolution. As Stakeholders navigate these challenges, the future of EVs remains promising but uncertain. It is a journey defined by the delicate balance between innovation, sustainability, and consumer adoption. As the EV narrative continues to unfold, it will be fascinating to witness how these dynamics shape the future of transportation.